You're live. We're live. We're live. <laughs> We're live. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. We hope you guys are watching us. We love to do this when it's quiet in the store. Last week it was a little crazy in the store while we were podcasting. Oh, yeah. People were going up to Rhinebacks. These uh, these two women that came in, they, um, I, I think they're local. I'm not really sure, but they work in, they said they work at Indie Untangled. And um, so they came up and they were busy shopping before they shopped up at Rhinebeck. Yeah. So they were nice. And then I saw them at the Harrisville booth. Oh, you did? Saturday. They did crazy. say that was the first place they wanted to go. Right. So um, Saturday, it was crazy in that booth. But anyway, we can talk about Rhinebeck. We could talk about Rhinebeck. everything. Let's talk about what we're wearing first because it's okay. getting kind of hot. Yeah, I'm it's getting hot. It we're going to strip. But, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm wearing the stone crop, which we had Hi, a, great, look, a great meet up, Ooh. right? Mm -hmm. Here's my version. Andrew Mowry's meet up. You saw my picture. Move on a little Insta. closer because it looks so good. It's good, right? My bobbles weren't really in the middle of my boobs. They were lower. <laughs> it's always lucky. Right. But um, <laughs> anyway, my stone crop and I got my pin. Where's my pin? I don't know. It must be in my bag somewhere. Anyway, I got my pin for the stone crop sweater and good spin job. cycle girls. Thank you. Bobbles. Let me tell you about bobbles. Never bobbles. <laughs> and I just want you to know I met somebody else and it was so funny on the hill. She she came up to me. She goes, I'm never bobbling again. So funny. And then Kelly was standing with me, and she goes, that's what she said. And she goes, and I don't care if there's any more effing bobbles <laughs> anywhere. She was never bobbling again. And I was, like, laughing. It was the exact me. It was, like... Bobbled out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, that's anyway, a lot guys, of bobbles. A lot of bobbles. You could do it without the bobbles. Right. People and some do. of my customers did. So I ran into a lot of the customers that were wearing theirs, yeah. and it was kind of fun. Yeah. And we were in the picture. We were in the meetup. Of course, I was in the front row. Yep. I, I saw you. Row. Yep. I was there. <laughs> and anyway, Alana, what are you wearing? I'm wearing my floozy cardigan. And you wore that at Rhinebeck. And my Rhinebeck sweater. Right. Mm -hmm. And I used um, sport weight and, and a dandelion yarn so as the pretty. dark blue. And then this is all spin cycle. All this. different uh, colorways of spin cycle. And you just kept going with the same design that was on the yoke. You went through the whole sweater. Exactly. And right. so I, I, I did sport weight, so it came out a little bigger, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more roomy. Beautiful. And then, so the pattern, I think, is supposed to end here, like with this motif. Mm -hmm. And so then after I split for the sleeves, I just continued it. But you didn't have to steak. Did you steak? I didn't steak because it's not color work. It's mosaic. It's not fair isle, so it's easy to go pearl side. Like with mm -hmm. with fair isle, you don't you don't really want to be pearling fair isle. It's just I right. mean it's possible, but it's not so fun. Mm -hmm. But this there was only one color right. per row anyway. It's all slip stitches. Beautiful. So it's a it's lot gorgeous. easier than it looks. Oh, wearing blue. Look at that. Yeah, we match kind, kind of. Kind like of we kind of got the. Uh -huh. matching thing going on and my mom thing. was there this weekend my real mom um, her real mom did you see our picture <laughs> that was fun so we took a picture with my two moms mm -hmm. and even in the hotel somebody stopped me and she was like um she was like oh i know you she was staying in the hotel she's right. like you do the podcast with your mom at the <laughs> store and I said, oh, well, that's not my mom. But I think she didn't hear me. And then she's like, so is your mom here with you? And I said, yeah, well, my real mom is here with because my mom right. stayed uh -huh. in the same room with me. And she's like, what do you mean, your real mom? I said, well, everyone thinks that that's Karen's my mom. Right. She goes, wait a minute. That woman with the short hair in the store, that's not your mom? Oh, my real mom just said hi. <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi, We're explaining she goes, moms. That's, she goes, that's not your mom? I said, yeah, that's not my mom. She goes, you look just alike. Do we look alike? I get it I a lot. Do I we mean, look alike? I guess we're both from the old countries. I don't know. Same part of the she old country. She could be my daughter. She's as old as my daughter. I so could she be could your be daughter. daughter. I would be your daughter, right. but I she already would. have a mom. But she already has a mom. <laughs> <laughs> and so a lot of people got to meet my mom, mm -hmm. so that was nice. So a lot of stripping, but she's I'm got a dress got on. Hot. I have a tank top, so we're good. It's the hair. It's the hair. Uh, oh, my God. What, my <laughs> hair? Season said it's the hair. Oh, Season's on a break. Season has a big order coming out. We pulled it. It's all on the table, Season. Oh, yeah, let's show her. Season, show? Season is watching now. Mm -hmm. uh, she. So if you watch live, you can converse with us a little right. bit. Okay. The dark, curly pulling. hair, Season said. Look. Okay. Look. So I'm season, just pulling part of your season order. Ordered. <laughs> This is the Mid Coast new sweater that came out from Knit Love Wool. We posted a ton of kits on um, our Instagram before, and we used two different yarn companies. The Woolborn, which season is buying this one. And BFL. Right, the BFL. And then we also used, um, we put some kits together 
with um this is also bfl so they're also two different BFL. bfls they're real different so different one is a twist to it one is smoother mm -hmm. right yeah and this is black elephant bfl yeah. and we had gotten that shipment later on and then season is also purchasing some haul that we brought i brought back from spin cycle mm -hmm. so i'm going to show seasons other acquisitions <laughs> Yeah, here's season, so, so you could get a good look at your colors. Tough love and ruination. So if you see yesterday, I was holding a bundle like this. And the pictures, <laughs> also the lighting looks a little different. But I also think some of the colors you wanted season were already purchased. So Yeah, but this is similar. And this season is okay. It's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyway, we had I had a great time. So um, you were with your mom. I was with four of my friends. And we were in a house in, we were in Rhinebeck, further back near Milan near the uh, Teutonic Parkway, like back in there. The house was okay. This Usually the house we used to get in Red Hook, um, the woman isn't doing it anymore. Like she took it off the or oh. Airbnb. So we um, had gotten, um, what do you call it? A newer house, different house. And it was kind of old. So it was like, mm. but anyway, we um, booked a new house for next year. Good. So we're going to be staying in Tivoli. I can just say that. We're staying in Tivoli, not in Rhinebeck, which is just another town past Red Hook. And they're all like five minutes apart from one another. You stay on that Route 9, you're in the next town, the yeah. next town. So um, we don't care because we have a routine down that we get. We go to Rhinebeck Saturday morning for breakfast. So this is our routine. We go early. We get into the center of town, Main Street, like 6.30, 6.45. I gave you food, Ruby. A.M.? Yeah, because it <laughs> opens at 9. Oh, you're talking about Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Our routine is we get up, we get dressed, we get out early, we get for breakfast at like 6.45. Oh. But, okay, you're going to have to excuse me because the dog <laughs> I'm going to kill. Yeah, she always does that. She always does that. She I didn't used to. Before. She didn't used to bark when we would podcast. Something changed. I don't know. I'm back. Anyway, but I get, she was sleeping. So anyway. Okay. So we get to Main Street like 6.45. We eat a pizza. We eat a pizza. We sit and we relax. We breakfast. And we just sit till like a quarter to eight. And then we go and line up at eight o'clock. Because you have to be on that line like an hour. I'm not in the back of that line if it's cold out. No. So we <laughs> went up on the hill part. You know, we were further up, not at the Red Barn. But Caesar and there was, was like texting 15. me. She said that she was at the front of the line, and she was asking if you guys wanted to come to her. I said, no, Karen's already on the front of the line. So they must have been at a different line. I don't know if she was at the Red Barn line. Right. Season, where were you? At the Red Barn? Out. Or we were up. But we had about 20 people ahead of us, 30 people. Same line. Same line. Okay, not at the Red Barn. But, okay. yeah, so we, the sec then they open their security table, look at your pocketbooks or something. So we were behind that, like, further down. But we didn't care. You know, it was fine. Um, and then the first thing we did was go in to pick up what we ordered. Like, oh, right. We picked up some stuff, um, pre-order stuff. We went and picked that up. And, um, and then we just went shopping. Yeah. You know, and... We started in the back and we went through and we did online for other stuff and you know it was good and then people were stopping me and stopping me and stopping me it was fun it's nice it's yeah. fun you know it's you know it's all good and i really appreciate everybody that stopped to say hello because everybody's so nice and i really appreciate it and uh, sometimes i get overwhelmed like i don't believe like this is what i've created and that people know who I am because I'm behind the scenes. Like I say this to you a lot sometimes. I'm behind the scenes, so I don't know what you see, you know? So I'm behind it and I'm just creating it and I'm doing it or I'm doing the Instagram, but I'm not out there. I don't know what you see at times. So like I'll say to people, I don't know what you see because I'm behind doing it. So, you know, but um, yeah, thank you everybody that stopped me. And I met Season. Yes. <laughs> and so she saw me on the line because I was on the line I didn't know. I, I ordered the wrong bag. I ordered the small project bag. Not this one. You needed the bus. <laughs> I needed the bus bag, the big one. So my group and I, we waited online. Yeah. So they went shopping, and we were taking turns waiting online. Oh, that's waited cool. Waited online one hour. One hour for this bag. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Am I insane from now on? No more. I'll buy every year's tote bag. 
but I ordered the wrong one. I ordered the project bag, not the big one. So I might have it here in my bag of tricks. But um, anyway, thank you everyone who stopped by and said hi to me. And but you yeah. also have the Shelly can rhyme. Yes. Bag. Okay. So I, I got untangled. that. So then I didn't feel like I needed the other. Oh, one. Oh, so here's the other one. So here, I'll well, show here, you. Look. But this one, I mean. Yeah, this but one. here's this one. Look. This is the small one that oh. I thought I didn't know there That's were like two sizes. That's like a project sizes. bag. Project bag. I don't know what happened to my pen. I must have dropped it somewhere. I have the pen. <laughs> um, so this is the Shelly Can bag. That's the one I the got. The Indie Untangled pre-order one. I this used that another all weekend. Huge. I love it. Yeah. I left it in the car a lot mm. because it was like so heavy. And I Shelly's put my name. purchases in mm -hmm. it. Shelly's name is on the back. This is a great tote bag. But anyone, Alana was wondering if you bought this... Do you know what this grommet here is for? We were wondering it too, because Alana asked people on Instagram, but nobody answered. Are no, they were answering. Stuff? Oh, they so did? The, well, so oh. there's this, and then there's one on the other side right. of it too. You have two. So Are everybody you supposed to close was it? Everybody was responding to me. I think you're supposed oh. to feed your yarn through there. Oh. But just, you know, like how it'll have, like in a project bag, yep. there's the yarn feeder. Mm -hmm. But my thing is that then your yarn is trapped in there, Right? Because, like, then you can't take that project out if the yarn is going no, through there. No. And the placement of it isn't, it doesn't make sense. Right. Like, that, I don't know. Because it's not like in the middle of our plaster bags that have the little, yeah. in the project. Yeah, I don't like, know. it's just the placement. So then I didn't Shelley. know I'm if sure there's, sure. like, a long strap that you could clip there, or if you're supposed to put your stitch markers attached to some kind of carabiner. I don't know. We should ask Shelly. Well, I, I thought maybe Shelly would see my story and oh, back. Oh, I don't know, <laughs> Shelly. I tagged her in the picture, but, but she um, never responded. I'm a project bag person. Me I too. love bags. I, I just, got a project bag at uh, mm, what'd you Tangled, get? this woodsy oh, and wild oh, one. Oh, that's pretty. Uh -huh. And I, it's her custom color that she did for it. And then, um, I like these bags because then on the inside, inside. it's like a magnetic oh, thing. Yeah, oh. so it has a zipper, right? but then you snap it closed so that your yarn can't get stuck in the zipper. That's a good idea. And then you can fold this down like, a like that, uh -huh. and you could feed your yarn. Like if you have two different ones, you mm -hmm. could feed in one yarn section. through that and one yarn yeah, through that, but then you're, that. you're not, you do. Okay. These are awesome bags. Okay. This is my I'm second one, some. but then your yarn is one. not trapped because it's got that. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with this bag. Cute. Love it. Is that Woodsy the color and she wild. had for Rhinebeck? Yeah, but she'll, she's doing an update, so she'll oh, have Oh, so some. she's all sold out. I don't know. Right. No, she'll do an update. Okay. And then she has these interchangeable needle cases that sold out just in the first two hours, like in that first session. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was like the hot thing. Oh, okay. I like that too, but I don't need an we interchangeable case. We had Indian Tangle case. tickets for four. So that's my From bag. From four to six. That's my booth mate. Samantha said, that's my booth mate. Oh, are you Lavender Loon? I guess so, because that was your booth mate. Uh huh. <laughs> you know Lavender Loon uh -huh. yarn? Yeah. yeah. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lavender Loon. Is that her? <laughs> yes. Oh. Hi. I found out because she had a sweater hanging in there mm -hmm. with like knit stitches like this. Right. And um, I didn't know what it was, so I snapped a photo of it so I could find out later. And then I realized it was Lavender Loon yarn. Hi. So that's how I remember that. Thanks for watching. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what else? Um, I'm you, just looking at all this spin cycle together. Okay. Like it's really inspiring. Wait, this is like these colors are gorgeous look. together with the black elephant. Yeah, look. I'm just gonna put. Oh, thanks, Samantha. I wish I knew. I would have said hi. Look. Oh my gosh, so good, that's right? beautiful. It's beautiful. I love this. I love this color. What should we make with these? This is just gorgeous. I don't know, but I'm addicted to this black elephant and she was so lovely that she gave my, um, what do you call it? The that. girls in my house. Look at this. Oh my God. The girls in my house. She made us a Rhinebeck color. You have it here? Yes. Do I have it? Where do I have it? So if you stay in Karen's house, you get a Rhinebeck color. And you also get your Custom. own private. And here's another bag. <laughs> Black elephant. Okay. I didn't stay so in Karen's ready? house. And it says Rhinebeck 2019. That's the custom Rhinebeck color. Color for Do You Knit. For Do You Knit's house. House. For the girls that <laughs> stay very with limited. me. Very limited. Yeah. So the girls that stay with me, we all got five skeins each. 25 skeins. So there's five of us. And we thought next year we're going to make our sweater out of this because we're all going to wear the same sweater. Oh, that's so exciting. So look how cool this looks with this. 
Did you see at Rhinebeck there was a bunch of gals who had like all the same neon green oh, color? Oh yeah, those are podcasters. Oh okay, so mm -hmm. they all they all had different sweaters, but yeah. all the same. It was all I the nice all the and yarn. green. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was, and then. Um, and then somebody had the RBG sweater on, the. Um, in green. Um no, but oh. oh. Ruth was, Beta Ginsburg sweater. Yes, yeah. Okay, and they had it all in black. There were four women walking around. Oh, they all dressed had... with skirts, black skirts, and tights and shoes, and they all were dressed alike. I love that. And they that. had their sweater. Or I like when knitting groups get together and they're like a rainbow, mm -hmm. and then they all take a picture like right. this, and they're all like. Well, a last rainbow. year we all did the throwback sweater. Azuki said, was... "Why green theme? I don't know. Maybe we have to watch their podcast Please. and find it's the out." Knitters League. It's Knitters the Knitters League, League podcast. They all wore green from Nice and Knit. Yeah, they stood out. Though. And that one of the cool. Nice and Knit set sweaters, she had one of the sisters had hers in green mohair. But then did you see Margaret McManus also she was had the doing green. It was with she them. part of them? Yes. Oh, okay. She wanted to knit with them. So oh. she um, she yeah, had the elephant sweater. Yeah, that was a cool sweater. Yeah, we saw so many different people. It's just great to see everybody. Totally. It's like so much fun. Totally. Um, what else? You want to see I have stash? an FO. Oh, look at her. I, FO. I brought this to be like my travel project. So I used one of these by Alex Creates, and mm -hmm. we have some in stock. We have just the last one, and then we have this beautiful That's a great autumn color. color. It's um, great pom -poms and it's to a match gradient, that. yeah. So, mm -hmm. I made this hat. Look how cute this hat is, guys! You need to make this hat. What's the name of the hat? Icy Forest. Mm -hmm. Very quick, one ball project. You want to make Alana's hat? And now I need help Look. picking a pom pom. Look. So I have this one would keep with like the so gradient, pretty. or this that. one. So can you guys help me decide? So good. Because I'm gonna buy it today. She's gonna buy it. I like the purple. My opinion's the purple. The darker one? Yeah. That's what this, she's saying, the mm -hmm. darker one, too. So, guys, if you want to make this hat, we have the yarn to make it. Purple. Everyone's saying purple. Purple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. That done. Done, done. <laughs> done, done. So, I got purple. I'm going to put Season's yarn over here. Definitely the darker. Okay, kit. everybody likes the purple. So, we don't know how many she needs for the body. Ready? I'll just put it there. Through. Cool. Okay. okay. We're what? doing great. Oh, we're doing great. We got needles. Mm -hmm. We got some smart sticks. And these are cool because they're rulers. So each of those lines, mom says darker. Darker. Listen so, to your mom, not me. <laughs> my I other mom. Too. All my moms. All my moms all the said moms darker. Agree. My two moms said darker. Darker. Mm -hmm. So these have inches labeled on them. So if you have to measure something, you always have a little tape measure with you. And then even the cord has the inches, so it continues. So this one is a 32 inch, so it's a 32 inch ruler. So you always have. Mm -hmm. And I actually knit this hat on Smart Sticks. So good. Yeah. Did you like knitting with them? Yeah, the metal is nice. Okay. Were yeah. they pointy enough? Pointy, yeah. Oh, good. Uh, they're not the most pointy. Okay. But they're pointy. Okay. They're much pointier than Addie's, but not as pointy smooth. as Chia Goo. The wire's smooth. Wi wire's with? good, yeah, good. and it's flexible. Okay. The, it's mm -hmm. good. They're good to knit with. All right. Well, yeah. we have some in stock. We're trying them out. Yeah. So, oh, some. and then you know who stopped me? Because, of course, I bought more signature needles at Indian Tangle. Mm. Signature needles wants me to do a trunk show here. That's so cool. So she would send me all the needles and what I would need to trunk show, and then whoever buys, I get a percentage. Nice. So maybe. I love signature needles. I love them. It's my favorite needle. That's funny. So Azuki said, I wonder, because you carry so many beautiful yarns in your shop, there was probably no temptation to buy yarn at Rhinebeck. <laughs> oh, just wait. <laughs> Do you want to see? Okay, we're gonna go for it. Okay, so <laughs> one would think. One would think. Um, but uh. so one of the girls I was saying, we have to go to Sawkill. We have to go to Sawkill booth. That was in. Booth. How did she know? I never heard of Sawkill. Well, she's okay. It's look good. At this. I wish I went. She lives up there. She lives in Rhinebeck too, I think. Red Hook. Red she, Hook. Yeah. Well, it look. says Red Hook. Red but Hook. It's all in so, that right, area. it's all there. And um, so this. What did I buy here? I bought fingering weight domestic merino. This Forty percent sawkill farm wool, mm -hmm. sixty percent domestic merino. Oh, Isn't so she blends her she sheep blends, with other look, sheep. Look at this. So these oh are how God. many yards? Four. Four hundred. I bought four of these for a sweater. So lightweight. Look gorgeous. at this with that. Oh with my the spin God. Cycle. Look at that. Okay. Then I bought. Look at her sawkill like farm. This is her DK, and this is um. Again, her wool oh, 50, and domestic. 50. 50, 50, oh. and this is 300 yards. I love it. Look at this mauve color. She had this on her Instagram, this mauve. Gorgeous. Wait, look. Ugh. Look. 
It's nostalgia. Go it's, gorgeous. it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Look at what nostalgia. So this is DK Beautiful. 300 yards. So I think I bought like five It's of those. so lightweight. Like right? you could make a sweater and it'll weigh nothing with something mm -hmm. like this. I, I love, love that. Single ply. Then my friend Julie Asseline at Indian Tangle. Our we... shop is in New Jersey. Fanwood, New Jersey. Fanwood. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, asking. no. My friend Julie Asseline is coming Julie. out with a new yarn. And she gave me a skein or two so I can do something. Maybe a, a hat or something. Yak. This has yak. This is merino and yak. So she gave me a skein of this. It's coming Beautiful. out soon. She had that sweater she was wearing in it. The gray oh, and it had all I the color When I saw her, work. she wasn't wearing oh. the sweetie. So she look had taken at this. That was a goodie. Magpie fibers. She gave me a skein of the nest, which we'll be able to get. I think November, December for the oh, store. Really? Yeah, we're oh, going to be exciting. able to get it. Okay, temptation everywhere. Of course, this is temptation island. <laughs> everywhere and every time. Everywhere That's right. And every, you have no idea. <laughs> then Shelly Can. I'm just gonna go for it. Another Shelly Can. Look at her teddy bear bag. It's like yeah. the Grateful Dead. It's like yep, yeah, because mm -hmm, it's a Woodstock theme, right? Yeah. Right. So then, of course, I needed. Sawkill Kill gave me a bag. Oh, that's nice I'm of that. I'm a bag collector, okay? Oh, yeah, my mom's saying, oh, yak, because that's the yarn yep. she wanted to that get. yak is amazing. Oh, she said, I'm a Canuck. Love your accents. We don't have accents. Oh, so here's the other <laughs> color. We're like, what accents? Here's the other color. Karen, this is your color. Yes. This is gorgeous. I need to get this for the store when it comes out. Totally. Right? Feel how, I know. I know. I, I just want to knit with she it. Had, I want that cone. She mm -hmm. had a whole cone of it. It was this like 3,000 yards. So what else? So there's my yak. No. Then, of course, I go to the spin cycle booth, okay? <laughs> well, needless to say, I know I dropped close to $500 retail in spin cycle. Really? Just in spin cycle? Mm -hmm. You got to yeah. pounce on it when you, you see it, right? It. Fuzzy got... navel. Ooh. Look at these two new colors. So this is the same. This is Bristol Ivy's. This is in her new oh, yeah. hat, fuzzy navel. That she but look died. how they look too different. Yep. I love look. that. And I bought a bunch of that. I, I love just... how they're all different. Mm -hmm. This is Castaway. Look at that. Gorgeous. We have some of that in the store. It's beautiful. Like, you could just look at this. Wow. Beautiful. It's gorgeous, right? That's a great combo. I know. Me, I'm, I'm like, whoa. Well, look at that. Like, who cares? Oh, that's great. So I'm just like, so I do have a bag of spin cycle. This is tough love. No, Verba vol Volant. Oh, it's Look such a that. different one. Yep. So I just went crazy. But Temptation, whatever. You got to put them in your spin cycle closet. Yeah, I have a spin cycle closet <laughs> and bin. So and bin. anyway, that's that's my stash enhancement. It wasn't, I spent, a, oh, it was close to $1,000, I guess. Uh, uh, <laughs> Because I bought more signature needles, and then it's like, <laughs> oh, I need that bag, or oh, I need that. So it's like, and by I the collect. way, that's that's Friday before Ryan Beck even started. Well, no, because then I bought that. I say all weekend. Oh, I okay. probably spent like a thousand. Oh well, all right. I don't, Whatever. I don't Maybe know. Maybe not seven hundred. I don't know. It's like I own a knitting store, but like I see things I need. Yeah, I got a ring. Look at her ring. So talk about you oh. bought big purchases. <laughs> It doesn't have any diamonds in it. <laughs> doesn't matter. I got a ring. Look at that ring. It's knitting. You see? It's like oh, the, she has a website. Right? They call it the knitting uh, blanket mm -hmm. ring from so, Porterness. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got a, a necklace. necklace as well. Evil eye. I love that evil eye. I need that. I love Is that it. on the website? I need to buy it. It, I, it was on the website. Mm -hmm. I actually pre-ordered the necklace because I wanted to make sure I would get oh, it. Oh, okay. But then the ring I bought from her because I didn't know what size I was. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I also bought a so button from get? her. So I'm like afraid to even get? start, but I'll show some I'm of it. Show. Well, this yeah. was the this was the coolest thing that I got that I'm so excited about. I got from Wing and a Prayer Farm. I so want I, those mittens. I've That's what wanting, I was gonna look for. So these are thrummed mittens, and I've been wanting to make them She's forever, and I just never did. Her website, yeah, I think it's just. No, but are they know. on there? Yeah. I, I don't know if, if they're on there. I've, and I've been wanting to make them, so I just went for it. But, like, look at these mittens. So each of these little white things is hearts, um, hearts but on the inside it's the fiber. So mm -hmm. here, I'll pull it inside out and you can see it. Look. Wow. So that's what it's like on the inside is all the fluff. Oh, my God. And so, Those are so warm. And I it's need all mohair from, from goats. Mm. 
and so I'm, that's I'm very excited about those. Did you buy yarn from her? Or you just got that. I just I have some of her okay. yarn in my okay. stash already, so mm -hmm. I didn't. But I tried on a sweater in there that I was thinking of using her yarn for, or this yarn for. It. So pretty. Thrummed mitts, and they're huge. Yeah, they're warm, right? My hands get very cold, and I'm always pushing the stroller. Yep. So your hands are out with the kids. Yeah. Right? So I like really good mittens. These are heavy, though. They're gonna take up a whole pocket. <laughs> I'll just stuff them in the stroller. It's all good. Right. I got. That's why I have pockets. Look like a cooking for, mitt. <laughs> I know. I bet they would be good as a cooking mitt. I wouldn't burn myself. Oh my god. Hello from Northern Ireland. Hi. Oh, we'll see. You. I'll see you in June. I'll be in Northern Ireland, Dublin. And then I got some patterns, patterns. from Harrisville. That's a cute one. I, I like got that. this one. Is a crochet top because I want to get oh, better crochet? at crochet. Yeah, and she's going to oh, be having really a crochet cute. along. The designer oh. Whitney. Oh, she's going to okay. have a crochet along so mm -hmm. that if you don't know some of the stitches. But I was even thinking of using hand dyed DK from here, just using so like pretty. hedgehog because it looks so good over a skirt or a wow. dress. I love and then that. there's this shawl which is also crochet. And then this top. It's hard to see, but it's here if you texture. look at the back, back you could see right. what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Is, has some like twisted stitches on the That's top. That's a big so. message, right? I'm like, wait. <laughs> Talking about buying yarn, ordering buying yarn. yarn. Ordering yarn. We order yarn. We order yarn. We just bought. We don't care. Like, oh, that book looks great. And then great. I got this book from Melanie Falick, I think is how she says and it. And it's all knitting in there? It's all, well, it, no. Oh, it's just too? about having, it, I don't know that there are any patterns, oh. but it's just about making making as as a lifestyle mm -hmm. that we don't uh, you know with hand. knitting yeah it's not like oh yeah i can knit maybe i'll make something it's like about like that's your life you make every day you just you crave it that's right. your outlet that's just what you do you're a maker that's mm -hmm. who you are um it's about well making a life and so it's all different um people talking about that so i started reading the beginning and i love it and she signed it for me and nice. i got to talk to her because i met her probably 15 years ago at um, Teva Durham's book signing in uh -huh. Brooklyn. Like right. that's a designer that she hasn't been Designing putting anymore. out books lately, right. but, mm -hmm. um, and she remembered me. That was so well, nice. She said she did. I don't know. <laughs> she did remember you, Alana. <laughs> and then she I got did. some yarn. I'm just not even going to go into the yarn. I just got <laughs> yarn, but you know, that's what we do here. We get yarn. I'm just looking at this color. Look at this sunset strip. And then I tried on this cardigan oh. at Indie Untangled at the Farmer's Daughter booth mm -hmm. and I, I realized that the pattern is only in this book and then I got here and the book was here for sale oh, so book. I bought it I was like I need handy. that book yeah mm -hmm. so this is in the by hand magazine we have we have some more yeah we have like five ten I think we have ten and this we is called some. the Gallatin Wraparound it's beautiful I really want to make it like you could either wear it buttoned like that what please show it <laughs> Please show for what? this. No, that you won't. Please, Please show us the yarn. Oh, oh Alana! <laughs> it's too incriminating. No, <laughs> we don't know who's watching. Okay, should I really show yeah, all the why yarn? Why not? I guess we got nothing. We had a show and tell this morning before we yeah, like, opened. <laughs> We're like, what you get? What you get? We okay. put our bags on the table. Here we go. So I pre-ordered from Wobble Gobble. Did she, she have a pre-order for it? Yeah, she oh. did. I pre she she opened it up. So this is called I Smell Pumpkin Spice Latte. Oh, look at that. It's so good. And that's from it's Wobble Aaron, Gobble. Right? It's well, she's calling it chunky. Okay. I How many did you got? I got two. Because okay. I figured that'll just be like a hat or I can right. make something for Lena, maybe mm -hmm. a little jacket even from Cute. that if I put it with something else. Pretty. Love so that the was color. like her show color. Mm -hmm. Then I got from Jill Draper. This is Kingston. Kingston. I can order for the store. You should, Karen. I you know. should get Jill Draper. I know. We can if I talk this. it up enough, maybe you'll order it. Mm -hmm. And this one's called Flatbush Avenue, and I ordered that because that's also, I mean, it's in Kingston, but it's also a street in Brooklyn that my grandparents lived off of that exit on the Belt Parkway. So that's why I love that one. Then I, um, Damie from Magpie Fibers also gave me a Skate little of nest. skein of nest. She pulled the yellow one out of her bag mm -hmm. for me. I think I'm white. Season said I love Jill Draper, mm -hmm. too. And so then I got this. I got this just because she was so nice. I love and, that. And I love it. And so it's a non superwash sock yarn from Birch Hollow Fibers. I love stuff like that. I love it too. And so mm -hmm. it's 60% merino, US sourced, 30% Romney, and 10% nylon and how many 400 yards, yards. 400. Mm -hmm. and this one is the undyed one because i was indecisive but she had some beautiful dyed ones too 
And then I got from Ann Choi, who is in Bedminster, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. She's local to us. And this is um, dyed with avocado seeds. Look at that. Naturally dyed. So pretty. It's pinkish. I don't know if it's showing up pink, but it's pinkish. Pinkish. It's I'm pinkish. going through these fast because She's going. then maybe no one will notice that I bought a lot of yarn. I won't tell. <laughs> And then these are kindred like my prized red. possessions. These are kindred red. The color is great. It's a neutral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's look called... great with purple. I'm like sticking this purple with it. Totally. Everything. Like that's yeah. what I was thinking. So right. it's called Beyond Beige because it's beige. Mm -hmm. And in some lights it really does just look beige, but it's got some neon yellow in there. Like I think I could do like, yeah. like use it like look a beige. that. Yeah. Oh my so, god. I know, right? Because Kindred. That's a good her stuff combo. Does, she has like combos like that. Oh, and I got this from Pandia's Jewels. She's our friend, and she is uh, I love that. local. Mm -hmm. and, and she, she comes was to at trunks a, shows a trunk here. show at a tea and blend. Yeah, perfect blend tea. Perfect blend. Mm -hmm. There's so a goodies. secret room full of yarn. <laughs> Where my yarn. house? Yeah. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's. I love when she bends it like this. It's like. I know. Then you could see the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's just say that's all I bought. That's all. <laughs> it's okay. We hope you guys... Would... Guys, you show us what you bought. Yeah. <laughs> Flash your stash. Flash your stash with us if you were there. We love all this. So we got new tchotchkes. New tchotchkes. From Katrinkles. She posted the other day some a picture of them. Mm -hmm. And Oh, I love these. They're little one-inch gauge, gauge swatches if you like to gauge. With the unit logos on them. And these are mirrored. Mm-hmm. They're so flashy. I like this one. This one isn't mirrored, though. That one's not mirrored, and this one's not mirrored. Those are clear in the background, so Blue then side. if you put it, like, on, you could see behind it. Yeah. These are great. I got and one. And twill and print. Here's Yay! the pin. I'm just going to, like, whoa. See the pin? That's our new pin. He's so cute. He's so he's cute. Sparkly. Our other pin had just a pink sheep, but this one, he's got a sweater on, and the sweater has flowers. It's like color work. So when you call, guys, order a pin. We got 100 in. <laughs> Don't forget. Don't forget. Get a pin. Throw it in your back. Get a gauge. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got that. What else? Oh, so how are you? Okay, what are you working on? Oh, yeah. Wait, but we're going to show you got this book before you left, right? Amirisu. That came out on Friday. This is the best issue yet, honestly. We have like 10 copies. It's so, so we, ha we don't have good. 10 left. Did anybody buy them? They came out on Saturday. So. That sweater is mm -hmm. gorgeous. The photography in this book. This is the best one yet. It's gorgeous. I bought it. Is there a download in the back? Right there? Mm. I have to check. Steven. And look who it is. Steven! Our pal. <laughs> Speaking of Steven. Speaking that was a good about segue. Steven. Okay, so I'm still on clue three. Okay. Clue, clue three. Right. Clue, yeah, clue three. three. Oh. Here's one end of clue hey, three. Ruby's barking good. again. My brioche got screwed up in one spot. Oh. Ruby, stop. And I just don't care. Like, we were sitting, and I wasn't drinking. I dropped. Look, see what happened here? Oh. It's a boo-boo. My stitches fell off the needle. I don't care. You're not going to be good. able to see oh. it. It's all good. So that had the mohair in it. Rube, stop. Oh. Oh, see, God. I have my gauge ruler hanging from my bag here. here. And... Go ahead, dance. I have a pink sparkly sheep too, next to my other pins. Ritual dyes, Shelly, Steven. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I'm on clue three. I have to finish the other half of clue three. So this was one part of it. Look. I'm also on clue three. Right, did you finish both ends? No. I don't think so. I'm on this end, the second, you know, the second corner. I haven't started yet, but feel how soft with the mohair in this part. Wow. The brioche was mohair. Steven told me to add mohair. Just was, for the brioche? Just you for gonna the do brioche, it now no, too? just in that section. So I have texture, I have brioche in it. Um, tomorrow, clue four comes out. I'll never be finished with clue no. three. Well, tomorrow night, please. Tomorrow night, clue f Thursday. Right, tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, but maybe in the middle of the night sometimes. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I'll never be finished with three when four is released. No, that's Rhinebeck happened. messed me up. Right, Because I couldn't too. really I knit on off. this at Rhinebeck because I worked on my hat. Mm -hmm. Dog has to go well. I want to start anyway. the MCAL, but got behind on another project. Yeah, well... Yeah, anyway, that, guys. So it won't be a mystery when you start, but that's okay. That's our road to Rhinebeck, too. That was it. It was a road away from Rhinebeck, the hangover. Right? The hangover. What do you oh, say? Oh, recovering from pneumonia. I hope oh, you're sorry. Better. We hope you feel better. 
Anyway, guys, that's it. We're finished, I guess. We gave you, like, the rundown yep. of uh, our morning. We bared our all. We bared our all. We showed you our We're person. showing you stuff. That's and... beautiful. Oh, my God, that combo. I know. Wait. Look at that. Is that crazy? Look at this. This is, um, so that's Black Elephant BFL. And um, she's dying for us for, you ready? Vogue Live. Vogue Live. Oh, we're already talking Vogue about Vogue Live. We have four booths, 811, 813, 815, 817. In front of the stage. In front of the stage. We are on the sixth floor again. And um, we'll I'll have Vogue colors. We have a lot of stuff coming up. Designs. Designs. Out the wazoo. Up the wazoo. Up anyway, and out guys, the wazoo. We are done. If you see something you want other than the stash we got at Rhinebeck, you can call the store. Because we're not parting with our stuff we Get bought. some spin cycle. Get some it's spin here. cycle. Give us a call. And um, we hope you have a great week. And then next week you won't be here. I think Kimberly, we're going to podcast with Kimberly. Cool, okay. Right? You're switching days or something. I right? like that because yeah. then I get to watch. Then we get to watch and then Kimberly <laughs> will show what she finished. Another fast knitter because she did the mid-coast sweater. Oh, she yeah. was a tester. So anyway, guys, um, call. We have great kits up we put up today um, for the sweaters. And um, we hope you have a great week. And we love podcasting. And we love to thank you for stopping also Alana and I, too, yeah. on the hill. We really, really appreciate it. It was so nice that everybody came up to us. That was so wonderful. So nice. Thank you. We do appreciate you guys. <laughs> and have a great week. Bye. Thank you. Bye.